Marquis, you, you played on the edge last year, moved inside to tackle and starting to get, you know, accustomed to things and getting more reps. Are you feeling comfortable now at that position and, and being able to, to attack a little bit more like you did today? Uh, yeah, I, I'm feeling more comfortable every week, like every week the um, season goes on. Um, it wasn't a really hard transition because my coach, Ken Ingram, is doing a really good job. He helped me since I've been over there, since I made the, um, the move, and it's been really good for me. Let's talk about the fumble, the sack and the fumble. Just how did that unfold? Oh, uh, uh, I remember like that that play the beginning of that, of that drive. Um, my teammate Terrell Gilbert, Gilbert, he said, um, "We gotta make some big plays this uh, this drive." And I was just thinking of that, and then I think it was third down, and then like I just knew it was about to be a a, a pass, so I just my roll, like, I just did a pass rush move, got past him, and then I seen the quarterback, and and I just I just stabbed him. You're still smiling about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was that a play where? Being a, pr a former defensive end was able to help you because you had the pass rush move to, to get inside and get to the quarterback? Yeah, it, it helped me a lot. Um, I feel like I was faster. You know, I made them step in, and then I just I, I was free. Nobody was there. So, yeah, I feel like it helped me a lot. It helped me a lot. How meaningful is this win for you? Obviously, it's a long time rivalry. The Bell's still here, 11 straight here. How special is this one for you? This is special because I, I know some people on the on Miami of Ohio's team because I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. So I know some people from Miami Ohio's team, and um, I didn't know too much about the rivalry before I got here. But um, just going through like last year when we won, and this year I just know it's going to be a tough game. And I know like every all we got to play for our seniors and and do do we got to do we won it 11 straight years now. So it, it, it's a big thing to me. It's a big win. Is there any pressure in that locker room to not lose it? Like we can't be the team that that breaks the streak, so we got to make sure to make uh, plays and get it done. Yeah, nobody nobody really wants to wants to be the team that hey we we're the team that lost our our, our streak and everything. But I, I feel like you know we all know we're gonna take care of our jobs and and we all can like play at the level and we all got the confidence uh, in each other to just keep you know just believe in each other. As a member of the defense, this offense this year is not. Has been as explosive as it's been in the past. What's your mindset as a defense going into the season, going into games, with how the offense is performing so far this year? Um, as a defense, we we just been um, sticking together more as a family, and then like it, it's been a good year. We we returned a lot of our starters and everything, so I just know like, like everybody just just coming together, and then we like we're playing way better. Um, the the offense uh. They, they're still doing good. Um, uh, that's all I have for that. Does it feel awkward to like, you know, game by game, you might have to approach Hayden, you might have to approach Ross to kind of, because you don't know what quarterback you're going to kind of say, come on, cheer, you know, motivate uh, a little? No, I, I believe in both of those quarterbacks. I, like, Ross came in my year, and I, like, I seen his highlights before that, and like, he was a really good quarterback. And I seen Hayden when uh, Gunner went down last year. And I seen how like what he could do and everything, and it was just like unbelievable. He, he had an unbelievable exp uh, game, and I just believe in both of them. So it, whoever goes in, I, I like I have full confidence in them. Anything else? Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you.